a traitorous bitch. You are both a disgrace to Alberta, lying bitches. Now you have two blonde bimbos in a party that is clueless. Another useless tit goes NDP. Dead meat. Sandra should stay in the kitchen where she belongs. Fly with the crows and get shot. Dumb broad, a good place for her to be is with the rest of the queers. Mr. Speaker, today I rise to make a simple request of my colleagues. To all of the honourable colleagues in this House, if you are stunned by the words you have heard in the last few days, if you reject the inherent violence behind them, and you know that harassment and abuse, even if it's verbal, even if it's online, and even if it's directed at a political opponent, is poison. Let us be strong and clear in our resolve that no matter where we sit along political lines, we stand together against this. In our words, in our actions, every day from all sides, if we don't feed it, we must oppose it. Please oppose it. Don't ignore it. Don't look the other way. Don't excuse it. Because our daughters are watching us. They are watching the challenges facing women in politics today. And imagine if we let that poison become normalized, or if our daughters forego the political arena altogether. That scares me. I am so proud to have joined a pragmatic centrist government which has a place for moderate women. Together we will fight for women, we will fight against this language of harassment and violence, and I hope everyone in this House fights it too. Thank you.